All right, we have ourselves a few signings that I wanted to go over from some of my favorite teams. We're talking about the Vancouver Canucks and the Toronto Maple Leafs. Now, like it or not, even though I'm a guy who does like the Canucks, the Habs, and the Red Wings, I still do have a soft spot for Toronto. For a very good portion of my life, Toronto was indeed my second favorite team, so there is a level of respect there, I guess, that I do have. But going over some of these signings that we saw, let's sandwich these together, because going over in chronological order, that's kind of what we have. First off, Earlier today, the Toronto Maple Leafs signed Michael Hutchinson to a two-year, $725,000 average annual value deal. This is probably going to be what a lot of Leafs fans look at and say, darn, that's a really cheap contract, and yeah, it pretty much is. This is the expansion draft plan coming to work here, because this is indeed a two-year contract, meaning that it allows Michael Hutchinson to be exposed in the Seattle expansion draft. The Maple Leafs are in a situation where Frederick Anderson, he is not signed when it comes to his contract extension, meaning that the Maple Leafs, they do have to do some stuff, because you're forced to expose at least one goalie in the expansion draft, and if you want to keep forward with the guys that you already have, then hey, a Michael Hutchinson who wasn't terrible with the Maple Leafs this past season can definitely be a guy to help you out in that department. He's 30 years old. He was sent over to Colorado. We all kind of know the story. He was okay with the Avalanche, but he's now back in the Toronto system for sure. Next up, though, in chronological order, the Vancouver Canucks signed defenseman Guillaume Brisebois, a guy whom I do indeed have a soft spot for. Brisebois was drafted by the Canucks back in the 2015 NHL entry draft. I remember this one because the Canucks didn't have a second round pick that year, but they drafted Brisebois in the third, and Trevor Linden came out and said, you know what, if we had a second, we would have taken this guy. Brisebois is 23 years old, left-handed defenseman. He's a guy who has had NHL experience, but during his time in Utica, he has really established himself as a pretty nice shutdown, defensively-minded defenseman who is capable of playing in the NHL once in a while. Brisebois, to me, is a guy who does indeed exhibit that skill set to at least be able to play in the NHL, is a pretty nice pickup, especially in the third round, and a guy who did sign a one-year contract. This one is for $700,000, which is great. Minor salary right there, pretty nice contract indeed. We will see if Breeze Boss suits up for the Canucks anytime soon. He probably will because the Canucks will get injured, but at the end of the day, this is a nice contract to add in your system. And finally, the last one in chronological order, we have Joey Anderson, the guy whom the Toronto Maple Leafs acquired in the Andreas Janssen trade. He was signed to a three-year contract extension with an AAV of $750,000. That is cheap. You want to talk about Andreas Janssen and how this guy was taking up too much money? Well, you traded him away for a Joey Anderson, a guy who honestly might be actually able to play in the NHL full-time and contribute upwards of maybe 15, 20, maybe even 25 points on the year, and you're getting him for sub 800k. That's amazing. Kyle Dubas, man, absolutely pulling off the big bucks over here. This guy is signed for three years. So if he all of a sudden becomes an NHL regular on the PK next year or whatever, that's a great contract to have. So that wraps up our short video over here talking about the Vancouver Canucks and Guillaume Brisebois and the Maple Leafs with Hutchinson and Anderson. Talk to me in the comments what you think about any of these signings. I certainly think they're great signings for these organizations, but I want to hear what you think down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. And bye.